in uh, in days gone by, the edge was all about the video and being able to watch things. Uh, now, definitely, it's become more about the pattern and getting an edge by virtue of knowing more about the sport or the players or the opposition than the people you're competing with. Do you see that um, as a growing trend and something that's driven by sports clubs and professional teams, obviously, which Opta deals with? Um, that's the sort of information they're now looking for. Yeah, very much so. It's um, particularly, I think, at international level for people to be able to get one upon the um, opponents and certainly from clubs more perhaps for recruitment of players and um, and learning who how good their players are in comparison to the people in other teams. Can you give us an insight then, you know, where sensitivities allow into the type of work you're doing in those areas? Yeah, well, um, certainly in rugby league, we, we're trying to look at um, patterns of play and where what makes a difference between winning and losing in a rugby league match, really, so that hopefully the benefit we, um, we can provide to all the stakeholders in the UK so that we can um, perhaps get a bit, little bit nearer to the Australians and New Zealanders. In terms of the Sports Analytics Conference then at Manchester Business School, you're going to be involved with that. Um, you're looking forward to being involved in what could be a, a groundbreaking event? Yeah, I mean, obviously, in, in, particularly in US sports, it's really big. And it's really time that there was a, a dedicated conference to this kind of thing in the UK and, and for European um, stakeholders as well. Do you feel there's, in some ways, still a, a fair bit of an education process to go on um, f for all sorts of people in sport, coaches, managers and chief executives? Yeah, I think, I think people are, are open-minded towards it now, which perhaps five or ten years ago they weren't, but they still don't know much about it, the detail of how it works and and what they can gain from it. And I think that's what the conference is about, really, getting that message across to the, the people who perhaps don't come from an academic background as how it can make a difference to them. And in terms of Opta, it's, uh, it's an area which you're exploring more and more and looking to exploit? Yeah, well, again, we've got lots of data in real detail on lots of sports, um, probably that there's nobody else out there really covering the same range that we've got. So that's what we see our strength and what we can bring to the party in this case, really. You think that sports analytics then will one day become um, common parlance among sports fans in the same way that it is in America? It'll be something that's recognised and valued? Yeah, I mean, I think in, in certain sports in the UK already, it's quite well known that the, the, the kind of the interest in the statistics... I think now it's taking the statistics one step further into into kind of metrics to be able to measure how good a player is, not how necessarily how much he does or how, how, what his frequency of certain things are. And that's that's the difference really is to kind of evaluate the performance as opposed to just just sort of put some numbers on a piece of paper.